And then we have this one who can be testy from time to time and he's a very heavy bodied snake. But I had to take him out and wash down his enclosure so I figured I'd bring him out. He's not in any of my newer videos. But he can be temperamental and he can afford to be because he's a really big snake. <laughs> That's Faye, my Dumeril's ground boa. And he's very big. He eats rats. None of my snakes eat anything but rats or mice. I'm against power feeding. My, my Personally, I think power feeding is feeding your snakes back to back. One feeder after another. Even over a prolonged period of time and not allowing them to excrete waste from their previous meals. So, personally, in my opinion, that's what I consider power feeding. It's not so much the size of the food item or how many or how often. It's just that you don't allow the snake to excrete waste from its previous digested meals. And that packs on weight. It really does. You gonna sleep through this? Hey, babe, you wanna come out? Hey, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Always reach in and pet them. Let them know you're there. Hi, babe. Welcome out. He's like, I don't want to come out. I'm content in here. Come on. Come on. Welcome out. Come on, babe. Oh, quit being difficult. He's a brute. He looks like he's in one of his moods today. Hi. You got a little piece of shed stuck on one of your eyes. We're gonna have to take care of that today, huh? Come out. Come out. There. Come out. Yeah, you got a little piece of shed stuck on one eye. Eh, 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 relax. Not on the floor. Come on. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> He's a broom. Relax. Still have to hide. Come on. It's all right. Stop. Calm down. Chill out. He's in one of his not good moods today. Huh. So yeah, he is really hard for me to hold as heavy as he is. You gonna behave? Relax. You're in my necklace. That doesn't work. Okay. Relax. Relax. Okay. Calm down. Stop. Put you back in there if you don't behave. Oh, you're cute. You locked right onto my hip. He's hard to handle sometimes, and this is one of those days, unfortunately. <clears throat> Calm down. Calm down. Chill out. You chill out, I'll let you back out. You want to calm down? You have to supervise them. It sounds funny, but you have to let them know that you have control at all times and you won't tolerate that kind of conduct from them. If they're going to be super flighty and act defensive and aggressive, you have to put them in timeout. I know it sounds weird, People do that with kids, but you do that with your snakes, too. It, hold on a minute. Where did my top go? There. Okay. But, uh, yeah, my snakes go in time out if they can't chill out and act social. So they know, you know, if I'm not going to conduct myself in a proper manner, and she's going to put me back in here until I calm down. And it works really great with them, but you really have to have a lot of bonding time in with them to accomplish that. So they know that you're not gonna tolerate it. It sounds funny, but <laughs> they understand discipline. Like Jade, my uh, female coastal carpet python, she finally figured it out. If she's a good girl and she stays calm, she can come out. And if she can't, she spends more time in her enclosure. So they do definitely have a reasoning process. A lot of people say they don't, but they do. Let me see what we got here. Do you decide to calm down a little bit? Huh? Do you decide to calm down a little bit? 
I can get, bring it in a little closer so you can see him better. But yeah, as huge as he is and as heavy as he is, he's a lot to handle. And he's got this real neat trick he does. He'll roll himself. He'll stiffen up and do a roll in your hands so you can't control him. It's just a matter of learning to control that. You're done? You're done being bad? Okay, that's better, I guess. You through? You all right? You done? Okay. Did you calm down some? Yeah? You gonna behave? Not yet? I gotta get that piece of shit off his eye. It's right on the corner of it. That's why you're grumpy. You got a piece of shed stuck on your eye. It's just on the very edge of it. No biggie. A little vitamin E oil and a Q-tip will take that off. You done? You through being arrogant? Huh? Can I see it? Oh, see, nope. Leave my eye alone. <laughs> no, he's not gonna let me do it. Come here. I won't bother it. I promise. I'll leave it alone. I promise. Okay. Now see if he's gonna come out on his own and calm down and behave. If he doesn't, he goes back in and he'll keep doing this. Going back in with the top on until he can sort this out and reason out that he doesn't come out if he's being mischievous. All my snakes were raised like that and it's very effective. I don't know what to say. But see? Put them back in time out. They do have enough of a thinking process to realize that they did something wrong. This is your punishment and you're not going to have any freedom until you stop acting like that. People that don't work with their snakes would never understand that relationship, but that's the way it is with them. They aren't stupid animals. Now he knows if he comes out again and he acts like a goofball, then he's going to go back in here and we repeat this process over and over and over until he can get it in his head that if he stays calm and he's relaxed, then he comes out. They do. They do really reason this out. They're not stupid. They do learn routines, but you have to handle them and work with them to give them a routine to learn. You done? You done being a butthead? Huh? You through? You through being a bad boy? Yeah, that's bait. He's thinking about it. He hasn't made an effort to come back out yet, so he's reasoning now. He's like, okay, that didn't go over so well. I came out being all hyper and she put me in here, so I guess I'm gonna have to chill out if I wanna come back out of here. But people think snakes are stupid. No, they're not. They're very good at distracting your attention, too. Let me add that. You done? You through being about head? Huh? Let's see. He knows. He knows the top's off of there and he could come out. But once he calms down, he'll come back out. And if he's hyper again, he'll go back in here again until he gets it right. It's odd to say that, you know, you have to allow them the freedom to express themselves within reason, within a safe margin, but you also have to keep that control over them because once they know they can control you, they'll use it to their advantage constantly. You might take a bite or two, big deal. You shouldn't have a snake if you're that worried about getting bit. And Christ, I've had some bad bites that I should have gone to the hospital for. I didn't have to because I was a nurse and I knew how to take care of the injury. But yeah, you yeah, know, those are really big snakes I'm talking about, like 14 foot boa constrictors that got me, but one did in particular, nosy. But you know, a bite's really not that serious. You're better off working with them as a young, small snake and getting them used to being handled than you are just going over and sticking your hand and touching them once every two or three months. And then when they're full grown, you go back and you think you're going to just reach and pick them up and it's fine with them. It doesn't work that way. You have to keep that close bond with them on a regular basis. It's not something that you do hit and miss. It's something you really have to do on a regular basis 
or they'll revert back to their defensive behavior, and they do that. So that's why mine are out a lot, because if you don't bring them out, you don't let them know that it's safe to be around you, they won't be comfortable around you. You done? You done being bad boy? You done being bad boy? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yes, it is. You gonna lay down and go to sleep now, cause I... Okay. You can get under your towel and go to sleep if you want to. Beep. I see you. I see you, silly. I see you, silly. <laughs> Playing hide and go seek under his towel. Uh, he hasn't decided whether or not he wants to be back out yet because he got put back in because of his bad behavior. What about that? Huh? What about that? Okay. It's all right. I'm not mad at you. It's just I won't tolerate that kind of behavior from my snakes. So no, I'm not mad at you at all. If it's going to be a strain on you, and it's gonna, the, your bond with them is gonna cause you stress or cause them stress, then it's something you really need to work on because you're gonna get the same reaction every time if you don't work on it. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Yeah, don't touch me. I'm not wanting to be bothered today. I'm cranky. Yeah, he's a little on the crabby side. He's got a little piece of shed stuck on the edge of his eye. Usually he'll curl up on my shoulder and put his head under my armpit and go to sleep with me, but today he's a little on the wired side. Probably because it's way early in the morning and I woke him up to take him out to clean his enclosure. And I've noticed through all my years of raising snakes that they don't like to be awakened or disturbed when they're resting. All my snakes react to that very strongly. You through? You gonna come up and be social? You gonna come up and be social? Come on. You gonna come up and say hi? You gonna come up and say hi? He's thinking about it now. Let's reason this out. If I can behave, I can come out. If I don't, I won't be able to. He's thinking about it. You can come out if you behave. You know how this is done. It's done the same way every time. Don't hunt your back up at me with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are cranky today, aren't you? I want to get that shit off your eye. Maybe you'll be less irritated and annoyed. Nope, nope. Leave it alone. Yeah, he's not having one of his mellow days. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you want to come out? You can if you can behave yourself. So no, I'm just going to go in hiding today and rest. That's all I want to do. It's probably because I have my front door open and there's a slight draft coming in through the front door. They aren't especially fond of drafts in the face. So, yeah. You're hiding. Why are you hiding? He's got a cute little trick he's been doing lately when he wants dark in his enclosure. I have a 15 watt soft white bulb I keep on at night for all my snake enclosures so I can see them to check on them during the night. But he's got a new little thing he does now. He'll take his nose and nudge up under his newspapers and lay there with the newspaper over his head and neck. And if I take it off, he'll turn around and go over to another area and find another piece of newspaper, stick his nose under it and get under his newspaper. But he's way too big for a hide box. It wouldn't be workable at all with a snake this size. Hey. But he's got a cute little trick he does now. At least he quit attacking me when I tried to take his water dish away from him to refill it. He got real good at doing that. Okay. It's okay. You alright now? You okay? You alright? I'm fine. He's beautiful. Get him over closer to the camera so you can get a better look at him. 
Yeah, he's got his head buried. He's being antisocial today. They do. They have those days. They're no different than people are. They have days where they want to be around people and be close to them, and days where they're just indifferent. No different than a human is. And he's having one of those indifferent days. Come here. You can come out if you can behave. So I don't guess I can behave because I'm not coming out. Can you relax? Can you chill? And he just ate two days ago. You through? You through being mean? You through being mean? Huh? Yeah. You through being a badass? <laughs> There's one in every crowd. You have one day, every snake in your house, I swear, is in a foul mood. And then you have other days where they're all in a great mood. Or you always have one that's a little off the wall and not acting social, that just wants to be arrogant. So, you know, every day is a new day for you. Every day is a new experience for you because their personalities are really quite flexible. I dump you out. What if I dump you out? Huh? Now he knows he's not in the mood to be calm today, so he's just going to lay here in this plastic coat instead of coming back out. They're not stupid. Trust me, they are by no means stupid animals. Now he's in one of his flighty moods today, so he figures I may as well stay in here, because if I come out and act like that, she's going to keep putting me back in here. So, to hell with that, I may as well stay in here anyway, because I can't calm down today. I know what it is, he wants to go outside, and the ground's still damp from the dew, so he can't go out yet. All my snakes go outside to excrete waste. It's a given. But there's my big, grumpy, numerous ground bullet. They are beautiful snakes, though. Gorgeous. Well, you're just full of it today, aren't you? You're just a huffy butt today. Come on. Okay. You through? You done? You done being bad? You through? Nope, I'm gonna take off again. No, we're not. <laughs> He's still in one of his moods. So no, we go back in the enclosure. We try, we'll try again this afternoon, see if you thought it over and settled down some. He's just in one of his foul moods today. It happens. It's to be expected. <laughs>